Have you ever wondered how scientists can predict a lunar eclipse years in advance down to the exact minute? The answer lies in mathematics. A lunar eclipse happens when the earth comes directly between the sun and the moon. In mathematics, this is called collinearity. When three bodies lie in a straight line. But how exactly does math explain the beauty of lunar eclipse? Let's explore. When sunlight falls on earth, our planet blocks some of it, creating shadows. There are two main parts of this shadow. The first is the umbra, the dark central shadow where the earth completely blocks sunlight. If the moon passes through this region, we see a total lunar eclipse. The second is the penumbra, the lighter outer shadow where earth blocks only part of the sun's rays. When the moon passes through this zone, we see a partial eclipse. The shapes and sizes of these shadows can be calculated with geometry comparing the diameters of the sun, earth and moon and their distances. The sun is about 1.39 million kilometers in diameter while the moon is only about 3474 kilometers wide. That means the sun is roughly 400 times bigger than the moon. But here the amazing coincidence the sun is also about 400 times farther away from earth than the moon is. This ratio makes the sun and the moon appear almost the same size in our sky. Without this mathematical coincidence, eclipses would look completely different or might not even occur in the same way at all. Mathematics also helps us to calculate how long an eclipse will last. The moon travels around earth at a speed of about 1 km per second using the formula time equals distance divided by speed. Astronomers can predict the duration of each eclipse. For example, if the moon passes through the widest part of the earth's shadow, a total lunar eclipse can last as long as 1 hour and 40 minutes. By using trigonometry and orbital motion, astronomers also calculate where on earth the eclipse will be visible. This connection between mass and eclipses is not new. In the 5th century, the great Indian mathematician Aryabhata explained eclipses scientifically. He showed that they occur because of earth's shadow. Using pure geometry, Aryabhata was able to predict the timings of eclipses with astonishing accuracy, long before telescopes or modern computers were invented. Today, with advanced mathematics and computer models, scientists can predict eclipses many years into the future. We can know the exact date, exact time and the exact region from where the eclipse will be visible. This knowledge is not just useful for astronomers but also for calendars, navigations and even space science. Therefore, on 7th September 2025, you watch a lunar eclipse. Remember, behind this breathtaking event lies a perfect play of geometry, ratios and trigonometry. It is living proof that mathematics is truly the language of the universe.